All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to get an image from your device and display it in KOWP. In the KOWP Google sidebar introduction, I talked about this weather image up here, and this image does change dynamically based on the weather conditions outside in my area, or when you add this to yours, it'll be your area. So what we're gonna change here is this blue rectangle. We're gonna change it to reflect the current weather conditions. But before we do that, if you followed along with the sidebar tutorial thus far, let's take this thing here assuming that you know how many rows you want to have on your google sidebar right now i have one two three four five six seven i'm gonna be happy with seven make how many you want let's copy and paste this and i'm going to rename that one i just copied and pasted i'm going to title it unhide later basically i'm going to go to this one i just copied i'm going to the visibility for this layer and i'm just going to remove Basically, it's hidden, it's gone, it's not there, but later on we will come back and unhide that or bring it back, but for now, I don't want to. So I've copied and pasted that, and again, make sure you have the number of rows that you want for your Google sidebar. Just in case you don't do it there, you do have a chance to fix that later though. But anyway, back to this. Let's go to the sidebar, let's go to the stack group, let's go to the top, and let's look at this rectangle. Now, a way to get images from your device, you have to know the path to that particular image. An app that I use to get paths and copy paths is SD Made, but there's multiple apps where you can get a path to a particular file. Now on SD Made, I can actually navigate to where I wanna go and I know exactly where my file is. I got all these images off Pixabay, by the way, free to share for whatever. So feel free to go grab that folder, weather folder in my KOWP free stuff folder, and it's gonna have all of these images inside of there. And the naming convention that I have for these is helpful because this is going to match the uh, code in KOWP for certain weather conditions. But on my device, it's inside of this Pixabay weather, and I'm just gonna click on one of these images, and I'm gonna to go to copy path. That's why I like SD made. It automatically copied that path. Now when I come back to this rectangle in KOWP, I'm gonna go over to FX, set the texture to bitmap, and I'm going to check this bitmap here and apply code. For that code, I'm going to do file, colon, two slashes, and then I'm going to paste. Now, if I leave it just like this, I'm going to have that clear .jpg. As you can see, that's exactly what I have there. Now this is not going to change, but that's how you get an image to show up. So make sure you do file, colon, two slashes, and then the path to that particular file. Since this particular file was on a removable SD card, that right there may not match yours. But if you had it on your internal storage, you can still get the path, you know, using some type of app, or if you know the path, get that, boom, there's your image. Now, as bonus points here, what I want to happen is, is I want this image to change based on the weather condition. So to do that, I'm going to go right here where it says clear. I'm going to delete that. I'm gonna to go to weather info. And if you notice the WI icon function, these right here are the exact same names that I have for all of these images. So if I tap this, whatever the current condition is, WI icon in this case is clear, so it's going to return clear.jpg. Well, if it was a tornado, heaven forbid, I would not be on my cell phone, but anyway, tornado.jpg, if the condition is a tornado right there, it'll return tornado.jpg. And all of those files are named to match up with the icon so that this will change dynamically. So checking that, saving it, going back to the home screen, we have an image from our device. Now, this is not very helpful if you plan on sharing your presets with other people because the paths will be different. They have to have those images on their device. But in terms of you just having this there, instead of you importing all of these images as globals, this is another way you can access images. Now, if you wanted to share this preset, then you would definitely need to add these as bitmap globals. Quick example, I'm going to name this clear to match the weather condition, just like I have all those other ones named. Set it to a bitmap, come down to that image, pick the clear JPEG, and then what I would do there is I'd go to my sidebar, go to that rectangle. For its FX, I wouldn't use this code anymore because I'm not pulling the file from my device. I'm pulling it from the globals, but I still want it to change dynamically based on the weather condition. So I could do something like this, GV with WI icon inside of there. As long as that global variable bitmap is named based on the names of the weather info icons, and that's gonna be clear fog, all of these that you see over here, 
it will return the correct image in our globals. So that's a good way to share it. Now make sure if you're taking this route, make sure you add all those bitmap images in there and you name them correctly to correspond with the WI icon function. But again, I'm going to stick with this one here because I'm pulling those images from my device and that was the main goal of this video here is to show you how to do that. In the future parts, we'll continue more with the Google sidebar and I'll be incorporating many things into this based on the request that I have got from you all. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.